Let me tell you why I believe Bigfoot is the lizard man. Think about the geography of where you see each of these cryptids. You see the lizard man in the south, the swampy areas where it's hot and humid. The main predators are alligators or crocodiles. In these areas you see the lizard man, oftentimes with lizard man sightings. Any evidence collected points to something like a large alligator. Now let's move just a little further north and you start seeing the skunk ape. The skunk ape has a rotting smell to it. However, skunk ape does not look like a lizard. It looks like a Bigfoot. The fur of this Bigfoot, when samples are collected, are usually something like deer or bear fur. Now let's move a little further north to Middle Appalachian Range. The Bigfoots in that area are bigger but still have that bad smell. The fur is usually like a deer, an elk, or like the black bears. Also, any time fur samples are collected, it's usually one of those large animals. Let's move even further north, to territory filled with brown bears or moose. The Bigfoots are usually even bigger, and they have slightly less snow. Let's move even further north, well into the Arctic Circle. The large animals there are typically reindeer or polar bear. In those regions you would see Yetis instead of Bigfoot. Yetis being characterized by their lighter color fur like white or gray. Whenever fur samples are collected it usually comes back reindeer or polar bear. This seems to be a pattern. The Bigfoot fur seems to match up with the large game in the area. Many Bigfoot sightings, people believe that it's a person in a costume. I would like to propose that these Bigfoot creatures are not wearing their own fur. I believe the Bigfoot creatures are wearing the skins of the creatures that they're hunting. Much like it is believed that humans did throughout the Ice Ages. This being my train of thought, the Lizard Man is actually the same creature as a Bigfoot. Only it's wearing alligator skin or large snake skin, giving it the appearance of being a large lizard-like creature. The skunk ape being from the areas where it's very warm and humid. The furs of the animals in would rot quickly, leaving a terrible smell as you go north. And the large game becomes different so does the climate. So it takes longer for those skins to rot the same way. So the Bigfoot doesn't have quite as bad a smell. It also explains why most sightings are believed to be a person in a suit. Because Bigfoot himself is wearing a suit. It's no stretch that if humans wore the furs of other animals, that another hominid species could as well. This is how I come to the conclusion that Bigfoot is the lizard man.